Two years ago, I created a video about how OLED and AMOLED screens, especially those from Samsung, are giving us terrible headaches, migraines, and a lot of other problems. And I was overwhelmed with the responses that I got. And it turns out I'm not alone. And there are plenty of people who are actually suffering from these displays. Now, Xiaomi was able to solve this issue by having the DC dimming option in the display settings, which is kind of, they, they weren't the first. I mean, OnePlus had that option years ago, but they dropped it off when they updated their OS. Someone decided or took that decision to put it down and, and I wasn't able to use OnePlus anymore. Now, before showing you Xiaomi's solution, let's just go over why the issue exists in the first place. So the problem is not exactly the OLED or AMOLED screen, it's about how it's being lit. Now to cut it short, OLED displays, AMOLED displays use something called pulse width modulation, a frequency to control the brightness of the screen. Now, most modern devices like Samsung use a frequency of 240 Hertz, um, which is very, very low, by the way. And Apple uses around 480 Hertz to 500 Hertz, um, which is still low and can cause eye strain. Now, why do they deploy such low frequency? They say it gives you a better vivid image on the device overall, like the colors are better and it lowers the battery consumption. I think so, at least to that extent. So the problem with OLED AMOLED displays is the use of low PWM frequency, very low. Now, some manufacturers tried using higher ones, which I'm going to show you in a bit. But let's have a look at this video from Painless Tech, where he explains what PWM is. All phone screens produce flicker, but for some reason Samsung screens are more prone to it than others. PWM, or pulse width modulation, is a technology that turns diets on and off at various rates. This technique, which turns the display on and off, is how phone screens are lit up. A faster PWM WM means that flickers happen too fast to be seen by the human eye, while slower speeds can cause the aforementioned eye strain, headaches, seizures and eye pain. One user on Twitter gives a good explanation. Imagine that there is an electric fan in front of you. When its speed is low enough, you can see the blades of the fan turning one by one in front of your eyes. Your eyes will get tired, but after its speed becomes faster, you will not be able to see the fan blades. This problem applies to AMOLED screens. Smartphones with IPS screens do not have this disadvantage. But the difficulty is that these days it is almost impossible to find a smartphone with a good IPS screen. And that confirms it. Lower PWM frequency, more headache. Now let me show you what I've used in the past two years in terms of phones. The first one, this was my saver which is the poco x4 gt that uses an lcd screen no headaches why because it uses dc dimming or i think this one uses pwm dimming but at 50,000 hertz which is very very safe for the eye now the next device that i've tried is the infinix hot 40 pro i think that is what it's called it's a low-end device as well the problem with these devices they are at the low to mid range and you know, there's, there, there are always some shortcomings from these devices, whether it's, um, you know, the camera, the way it processes things, it can get slow. They are good, but they are not good enough. And this one is at the lower end, but it uses an LCD screen, DC dimming, no problem with the eye. Now I wanted to try a mid range flagship device. I don't know if that's even a thing. So I opted in to the Realme. Now, Realme 12 Pro. The screen is an AMOLED display, but they have advertised a PWM frequency of 2160 Hertz, which is higher than Samsung. And I have to admit, it didn't give me that headache that Samsung gave me. I mean, it takes around three minutes for me to use Samsung devices and it would give me a terrible headache. And if I don't stop using it, I'll get migraines and other issue. On a scale, let's say from zero to 10, where 10 hurts the most, let's 10 is Samsung. This device was between two to three on the scale of pain, headache. So the minute I stop using the device, the pain or the headache goes away. 
Um, so it wasn't as bad. It still managed to give me some kind of a headache. Now remember, everyone is different. So your pain threshold might be higher or less, and you might be not sensitive to this at all. However, there are devices that has higher PWM frequency, more than just this, which I have not tried yet. And now to the device that brought tears and joy to my eyes, really the Xiaomi 14. This is not the Pro, not the Ultra, this is the Xiaomi 14. Now this is a flagship device and I enjoy using this device, especially the camera, the zoom. I mean, I don't want to review this device yet, not in this video at least. I find it very neat, very elegant and they nailed it. They just nailed it. Now here's the solution that was deployed by Xiaomi. Now if you go to the display and brightness settings and if you go under the settings and try to locate the anti-flicker mode, the anti-flicker mode, there you go. And you can see that it says um, DC dimming. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if it's clear in low light to reduce eye strain. Thank you, Xiaomi. Thank you. I mean, I've been waiting for one of the flagship devices to do it and I'm so glad it was you because I don't like Samsung UI design sounds, all of that. I think you guys have just nailed it. I'm glad that you were the ones who, who came up with this. Now it's worth to mention that this is applicable on the 14. I'm not sure about the pro. I'm not sure about the Ultra. Now on their website, they say that it's DC dimming. It could be there by default, but one of the users who saw my videos previously says that the Ultra doesn't have the DC dimming option within the display settings. Now, maybe because it's deployed there by default, maybe. I wish that someone from Xiaomi would reach out to me to explain more about their devices and how it operates. You can send me an inbox on Instagram. You can find my details on Instagram and I'd be more than happy to work together to even make this option accessible to more people. Honestly, this issue that we have been facing for the past years, it affects a lot of people and I feel their pain and, and it is a lot of pain. Thank you, Xiaomi. I would love to try the Ultra with the photography kit. That would be perfect if you can send me a unit to try it out. <clears throat> All right, so we're reaching towards the end of this segment video. Um, let's go on a recap. If you are someone who's prone or have, or, or you are sensitive to pulse width modulation and AMOLED displays, here are your options. Number one, drop Samsung. Number two, find an LCD IPS display um, and try it out before buying it. Everyone is just different. I've used LCD displays. I have no issues with it. The problem with LCD IPS displays, usually it's a low end to mid range if you are lucky kind of features. So it's not a flagship device. Now the third thing that you can do is try devices with higher pulse width modulation frequency. Ah, it's a mouthful. Things, devices like Realme, um, I believe OnePlus started doing that recently, but I just don't trust that brand anymore because they had that option. They removed it from me and I was not able to use their flagship device that I paid for. Also other Chinese smartphone manufacturers like Poco, they have, I believe they have, um, you know, a lineup with a higher PWM frequency. And the last option would be, of course, getting a device like Xiaomi. Thank you once again, Xiaomi. I can't thank you enough. That supports DC dimming. DC dimming is just easier on the eyes. Yes, there are. there is a bit of a trade-off. Maybe the colors are not as vibrant. Maybe the colors shift towards slightly different colors. I did not notice that, honestly, but Thank you, I'm enjoying this device. All right, guys, we've reached the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Always remember, always remember that everyone is different. So the way these devices interact with me might not be similar to how it would affect you.
Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and protect your eyes. Drop Samsung. <laughs>